We just threw together these Aztec wood wall art pieces using Illustrator, the Glowforge, and then some unicorn spit. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're diving in head first right into the unicorn spit. <laughs> yep. We're looking at bringing some additional uh, like home decor items to the farmers market. So we, you know, we just started that a couple of weeks ago. We have some outdoor signs and we have some front porch leaners, but I want to put a couple things on the table and bring some farmhouse signs. And I and, wanted to get into the unicorn spit. Yeah. So we decided that this week we're going to do a geometric pattern and we're really going to test out some of this unicorn spit because the colors are so vibrant and beautiful. And I'm so excited that we have a really cool project to try them out on. These are gonna pop! <laughs> Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We really just needed some eighth inch birch plywood we picked up from the home improvement shop. Yep, and some quarter inch MDF. We'll use this for the backer and the frame. And unicorn spit. That's the key. In all the colors. However, today we're just gonna try and keep well. Garrett just informed me before we hit record that he's got a, his own idea. I'm so own I'm trying thing. to keep mine a little, um, I don't know, monotone maybe, or a little low key. And of course he doesn't do anything low key. So the colors I'm using are Blue Thunder, Lemon Kiss, Zia, and White, what does that say, Ning, White Ning. A white white ning. Ning. Get ah, it? I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm using the same, but I'm going to throw in some of this sparkle. What is this? It's right here on the back. Sorry. Dolly Firebird. Dolly Firebird. Step two. We're going to make our designs. That is the motion for design making, apparently. Does apparently. not compute. <laughs> We're going to jump into Illustrator. I'm going to show you a real quick, easy way to make some geometric shapes. We're just going to use the line tool. It's a whole lot of line tool, really. All right, let's start with a box that's 10 inches high, 18 inches wide. I'm gonna draw a line using my pen tool. I'm gonna click it, hold shift, and then I'm gonna click when I'm done and escape to cut my line. I'm gonna switch back over to my select tool. I'm gonna make this line slightly taller than the box. Then I'm gonna copy, paste. I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna tilt it. Boop, boop. I'm going to go ahead and make this slightly wider than the box. Now I'm just going to select everything, center it vertical, center it horizontal. There, there. my box should be locked now, or my set. Zoom in on the bottom right square, and let's make these lines blue so I'll be able to see them a little better. And back to the pen tool. Pen tool. I'm going to click it. I'm going to hold shift, this should keep it on a 45, and then I'm going to click it. Now I'm going to hit escape and hit my select tool again. Let's make these red. Now I'm just going to copy and paste. Let's move it in a little bit. I'm thinking about half inch wide. Looks about half inch wide to me. I'll do another one. I'll do a couple of these and then I'm gonna copy them all and paste them again. And four, four looks good. All right, let's copy all of these and paste them all in. Copy, paste. I'm just gonna keep copying and pasting the lines until I fill up this whole little bottom corner. You know what? I'm going to draw a box and make it like a half inch wide and I'm going to use this as a guide to make sure all of my lines are spaced evenly. Uh, I think this will be the easiest way. Make it a half inch. Tilt it on a 45 by holding shift and just giving it a boop. And I'm just going to use this to line up all of my little, all of my little lines. Boop, boop, boop. Just shift them all over a little bit. Make sure they're all spaced correctly. Now to make sure these are all the right size, I'm going to use my selection tool. I'm going to grab a corner, hold shift, and just line it up with the blue lines. 
Grab a corner, hold shift, and line it up with the blue line. I'm gonna do this for all of them. Just make sure they just touch the blue line. Like in the middle of the blue line, I guess. All right, let's use this box again. We're gonna use this box over here as a guide to know where to put our vertical and horizontal lines. Hold shift, make it straight again. Vertical. Let's place it in here and steal one of these lines in the middle. Copy, paste. And then we're gonna hold shift and make it vertical again. Boop. All right, now I'm gonna place it over here and I'm gonna going to shrink these down. I'm gonna use this as a guide and shrink all of these lines down until they intersect the lines that are going at a 45. And just kind of make a pattern going through, placing these little vertical and horizontal lines through here, making a, what I think is a cool pattern, cool pattern. Zoom in and make sure everything touches now. I'm gonna get real close and make sure all of our lines touch, all of everything lines up and intersect so that we don't have to cut it out with an exacto later on. Looks good. Now let's group all of our lines. We'll select them all. We'll click group. Now we can use the mirror tool, but I like to start in the bottom right and it likes you to start in the bottom left, so it doesn't work. Control Z brings us back. I'm gonna do a copy and paste. I'm gonna slide it into place, top right. Then I'm going to go to object, object transform and reflect. And I'm gonna reflect it horizontal. Zoom in to make sure my lines are all lined up. Zoom out, copy both sections, the top and the bottom. Then I'm gonna do a paste, and then I'm going to go back to object, transform, reflect, vertical. Let's scooch all these in place, make sure the lines line up, everything is where it's supposed to be, and export it as an SVG. Step three, we're gonna make all of our cuts. I took that eighth inch piece of plywood out and I cut it into two pieces so it'll fit in the Glowforge. And then I'm just gonna use the settings inside Glowforge to make my cuts. And you could use that same SVG that you just created and use that on a Cricut as well. So a couple of years ago, we did something very similar and in Cricut Design Studio, I think this pattern actually came from Cricut Design Studio, but you can make your own. And we used faux leather to cut ours and we mounted it just to a piece of, what was this? Um, a one by, what is this, one by 12? A one by 12. And we just made, cut it square and then we mounted, we cut the leather and then we mounted it here. So you, you can, can use that same SVG for your Cricut You can check too. out that video over here. I'll put it over Kim's head. <laughs> All right. But this time we're using the unicorn spit. That's right. <laughs> Up in our game. This 12 inch masking tape is a lifesaver. It covers the board. I don't have to worry about overlapping any masking tape. It covers a Glowforge board in one go and it prevents that burning and charring on the surface of the boards. The eighth inch birch plywood is pretty soft so I will just use the thick bass plywood and that usually cuts it. Now we stain. I'm gonna spray my board first and then stain it. Kim's going in naked. Right, it just says, for the boldest color, use right out of the bottle. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wet my board and see if I can make it look a little translucent, little poppy. First, we gotta pull all the masking off. It's not that bad. 
and give it just a little spritz of water just to dampen the boards a little bit. Oh, we do have some gloves because <laughs> this stuff does stain your hands. Garrett has one up to my design over here with a million little pieces. Yeah, I might so have gone a little. Garrett will see you tomorrow morning <laughs> when he finishes his. I might have gone a little deep, huh? <laughs> Color is yours. I hope you have enough color <laughs> for all your pieces over there. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Now we're gonna glue it down. We're gonna glue it to the backer. And kind of just glue it all together, I guess. Glue the frame on and everything. I'm gonna paint my board with glue and just transfer my image onto the whole glued board. What say you, Kim? Well, I do, I do not agree with <laughs> I think I'm gonna use my Gorilla Contacts in it. All right. The race is on then. <laughs> <laughs> His looks like Evil Knievel. Yeah, good. I love Evil Knievel. You do. Can you imagine? Can't you just see it? Evil Knievel was one of Garrett's childhood heroes. <laughs> totally. Totally. Oh, fun fact. So, I did. I loved Evil Knievel. Everything was Evil Knievel or Fonzie for the <laughs> longest time. Anyway, we got on Evil Knievel because that's what, oh, his, yeah. uh, that's what his artwork looks like. I thought it looked like his cape or... Yeah, it kind of does look like his cape. So I wet my board down and then I put it on and I noticed it went on a lot more even it looks like. Like yours looks good, but it's very opaque. I'm surprised at how opaque it is. Yeah, well, I, through this process, I learned that um, it would leave, as it dried, it left streaks. So with this foam brush, so yeah, I felt that brush. dabbing it seemed to, to work better. It left it left fewer brush marks, so, and I think, I mean, Mine's I'm okay. Sure. It came out a little more pink than I'd like. Yeah, I could see I that it's- I was really going for Evil Knievel. <laughs> but now it's a little more, less evil. Yeah, it's it's pink and blue. Yeah, it turned out pink and blue. But it's a pretty cool design. Yeah, I think you could blow cool. it up and really make it huge. We didn't oh, make yeah. them big. Oh yeah, I would love to make this one huge. It's kind of what I was thinking though. Be bigger and stain them I, I would say yeah. I mean I know we used a lot of colors here because I really wanted to try that unicorn spit yeah but I think some you know coffee or jacko bean and some grays and doing some real uh, like yeah kind of keep them earth tony yeah earth rustic tones. looking with, I think with some the, whitewash yes yeah yeah, yeah those would look very classy <laughs> very classy this may not be as classy with the pink in it and all but all right, it's about that time. Oh, would you like some more, Kim and Garrett? We appeared on a podcast this week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's because we make podcasts with Vincent Ferrari. And uh, looks like we're about out of time. So if you're not going to join us for the after show, we will see you uh, next week where we'll do it, build it, make it. Again, just like every week. Do it every week. Every Can you week. guys hear a cat meowing at the door? I don't know. Suddenly week. she's starving. We're doing it, building it, and making it. <laughs> I might put a word on mine. Bam. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I think that might be cool.
But I don't want to hide it, all that cool pattern, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't want to hide it. a little word. All right. Is. We out, we out, we out.